So you want to learn how to create a hologram, but you don't want to dive in Fusion. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do that. But before we start, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let me show you how to create that effect. Right, and we're in DaVinci Resolve right now. So a while ago, I've used this clip. So I'm reading off my screen, it's my computer screen, it's a comment from Reddit, and this looks like a hologram. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. So let me just remove this, and we're going to start all over. I've already recreated the clip, so I've copy and pasted from my previous project, so I've got the right length. And you need a picture or an image or whatever you want. So in this case, I wanted this image, and I'm going to transform it into the hologram. So let me just pull it on top. There you go. This was a user on Reddit who asked me to do a glitch effect. So I figured I might as well. And then I created this as a hologram and I figured, hey, I might as well make a tutorial on that as well. So here we are. So the first thing I want to do is I want to transform this image, but I want to transform this image. So I need to click this image and then in the inspector tab, if you don't see it, please open it. We see that we've got under video a transform window and that allows us to change the position and it changes the pitch or the yaw and that allows us to do some creative touches to it. But in this case, because I'm reading it, I don't want this to show your side, I want it to show my side. So I'm flipping the image. And after I flipped the image, I just went and adjusted the yaw a little bit and then I changed the position to where I like it. There you go. And then I changed the zoom as well. And then let's go back again and there you go. So I think this should be the position. You can do whatever you like. Just make sure that it's to your liking. Take your time for this because I think it's a very awesome effect. So it would be a shame if we rushed it. Okay, so now it's just the image. We've just changed it a little bit, made it a little bit 3D-like, but it's not looking like a hologram. However, within DaVinci, you can just add some effects. So we don't need to go into Fusion. You do need to go into Fusion if you want to track it. So let's say I'm reading something from my phone and my phone is moving while I'm reading this. Then you would see the image move as well because we're tracking it to my phone. If you want that, you need Fusion. So I'm not going to teach you how to do that in this video because I wanted to make sure that you don't need Fusion at all and this is something that everyone can do. So the first thing that we're going to search for are scan lines. And if you don't see it, just click wherever you think they should be. Open effects, there you go. And let's just drag and drop them onto the footage. And you already see that the image has been transformed a little bit. So if we open up effects, this allows us to change the appearance. And we can change the color one, color two, and we can offset it and we can change the line frequency. So I suggest for the hologram effect, you make them as thin as possible. And you can also change the line angle. So right now it's just the horizontal, but I want it to follow the lines of this image. So I'm going to change the angle. So now I need to change the color and I'm not going to change the first color, but I'm going to change the second color. So let me just fill this in because I've got a branding color, which is hashtag 39 FFFF. There you go, let's press okay. So that already looks a lot better, but now I want to change the opacity. So we're going back to video. And then we're going to scroll down and we see that the composite mode is normal and we can change the opacity here. So we can just make sure that it shines through just a little bit. There you go. So now let's go back to effects and we have now dialed in everything that makes it look like a hologram. Let's just touch it up a little bit. So let's add a shadow. So search for shadow and we've got a drop shadow. Let's drag and drop it onto the clip and you immediately see that a shadow is starting to appear. However, I want to change the color of the shadow because I want to match it with the hologram. So let's go to the color and let's fill in the same color that we're using in the line. So 39 FFFF. And now you can just change the shadow strength to whatever you're liking you want. You can change the drop angle as well. So you can move it to the back or to the front where it was. And if you want to undo it, just click these little buttons down here. So like I said, I'm going to increase the strength a little bit. And we can blur it out as well. So that looks even better. So now there are two more things that I want to do. I want to change the softness. So let's go back to video. Let's open up the cropping one. And we see softness over here. 
And let's just drag it to the left just a little bit. There you go. Just to get rid of those hard edges on the outer side. And then the final thing is something we can only add if we create a compound clip because I want to animate it. I want to make sure that it pops up and it pops out. So let's just hit the right mouse button, create new compound clip. Let's call this hologram create. There you go. And now we need the final one, which is the transform. And you might wonder to yourself, Rico, why would we need another transform? And that has to do with the fact that we can't add motion blur in the transform of the previous one, but we can if we just add it here because we've got motion blur right now. So I want it to start on zero. So I'm going to make sure that the zoom, I'm going to create a keyframe and fill in zero. I'm going forward four frames, one, two, three, four. And I want it back to one. And I want to make sure that we've got some motion blur in it. The maximum as possible. We're going back to the end of the clip. One, two, three, four. We're going to create the same keyframe at the zoom one. Now we're going forward to the final frame. One, two, three, four. And let's just make sure that we don't see it at all anymore. There you go. Now let's play this clip and let's see how that looks. So we've got some nice motion blur. It looks awesome. It's a static shot. And now, boom, it's disappearing. And that's it. That's how you create a hologram effect. You don't even need to go into fusion. I hope you all like it. Just remember, if you want to track, let's say, your phone screen, you do need to track it. And that has to happen within fusion. So that's a different tutorial. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial. Let me know if you're going to use it. Feel free to tag me on Instagram if you've created a clip in which you're going to use this effect. And if you want to see more of me, just click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!